It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty game. If you're using Rodo. Hello, I'm Joystick Jamboree, and today we're going to do a little tutorial. Um, so what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to bake a cake in Rodo. So you might be wondering, why a cake? Well, uh, so just to explain, uh, this is, was one of the things like that got me hooked up, like all messed up on Godot back in the day when I first started like learning Godot. And it's basically, I, I came from a entity component system like ECS, uh, for those who do not know what that is. Um, it doesn't really matter. So anyways, the point is, uh, I want to show you guys like the philosophy of like what Papa Godot, uh, established, uh, for, um, making, uh, games in Godot. And Rideau Engine. First things first, we're going to need a cake recipe. My very best vanilla cake stays moist for four days. I wish your mom stayed moist for four days. My best vanilla cake recipe is plush, moist, fluffy, and crumb. <laughs> With, without a greasy mouth filled. Okay. Let's see the ASMR uh, satisfying video looks like to have here. Ooh. Oh. Not gonna lie, but guys. But my wiener's kind of getting kind of jealous of that finger right now. Oh, here we go. So we got the ingredients here all laid out like it's uh, like freaking Minecraft here, you know. Butter, oil, salt, eggs. So that's pretty much everything we're going to need here. I guess the only thing we got to do next is uh, open up the game engine. So uh, let's put it all into a tray. Nice. All right. So first thing we want to do, uh, let's just say we're making a game about cakes or something uh, along those lines. Um, the first thing we want to do is start making it all our, uh, our scenes, scene nodes. So... Let's start off with the first one here. We're going to call this guy main. All right. Save. So let's see. So what is a cake? We'll call this guy cake. So inside a cake, we have sponges. Sponges. Uh, I think that's how you spell it save that we got frosting all right well we have different kinds of frostings and stuff but oh we'll start off with this guy right here okay so frosting we have icing sugar Icing, uh, icing, sugar, icing, sugar, um, obviously we're gonna have butter, yeah. now let's just get all these ingredients in here too, so while we're at it, so we got butter, vanilla, Vanilla. Oil. Salt. Sugar. Baking powder. Not to be confused with uh, uh, bacon soda. Or bacon powder. Milk. eggs and we can't forget flowers the floor Ooh. all right so make sure everything's saved save up all these C nodes And what we want to do 
is close up everything here. Let's open up main. So inside of main, we're gonna open up our cake. We're gonna add cake to the scene. So what's inside our cake? Well, we're gonna have sponges. So let's make it a five tiered cake. So we'll have five sponges in here. Uh, so Actually, not first. We gotta go to the. We're gonna make some sponges here. Uh, if we go to, if we go to our sponges, yeah, we're gonna make some chocolate cake. So to make chocolate cake, actually, first we're gonna need some chocolate. Well, save that. Save some chocolate. So to make chocolate cake. We're gonna need some chocolate. So here's the magic of all of this. It's all coming together now. So we have our chocolate inside our chocolate cake. Um, and we can also have our sponges. So our cake sponges. There we go. We got one of our chocolate cake pieces. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna call it a layer. Like it's like a part of the layer, you know. Circles, sponges. So uh, let's see what's what's next now. Um, we could do the same thing. Oh, I'll just save this here. But what we can do is uh, save scene as vanilla cake. Oh wait, it's not a layer, it's my bad. Uh. Vanilla cake sponge. Cause we're not really officially at uh, a cake yet. Uh, Cause we haven't had frosting on it. So vanilla cake sponge. Let's save that. Let's go back to our chocolate. Sponge. You know, I think we're gonna have to rename this thing, this guy right here. So we'll go down to vanilla cake. Rename. Vanilla cake sponge. All right, so vanilla cake. Let's go to our vanilla sponge. This actually, we're going to delete this node. And we are going to add vanilla. Yeah, so this one right here, we're going to have our vanilla. Vanilla cake sponge. And frosting. Um, if we go to our, actually, we have to open up our frosting for a second. We have, that's our base, but we're going to save this as vanilla. Vanilla frosting. This one right here is going to be our, actually. Save scene as chocolate.
so our chocolate so our chocolate frosting is gonna have oh, wrong one it's gonna have chocolate it's gonna have frosting Just like that. And our vanilla. It's going to have. It's going to have vanilla frosting. It's going to have vanilla. And it's going to have frosting. Bam, just like that. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that chef that used to go, bam, bam. Whatever, whatever happened to that guy? I don't want extra frosting in there. Are you kidding me? So now let's assemble our cake here. Um, so back to our main. If we go to our cake. All right. We're going to add our chocolate we're gonna have her oh yeah we have to add chocolate cake to it chocolate frosting with chocolate cake layer yeah where's our chocolate cake sponge There we go. Chocolate cake sponge. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake sponge. Chocolate cake frosting. And we could even do it like this, you know? There we go. That's our chocolate cake. So if we go in here, if we want to look at the frosting, we have chocolate and frosting. Chocolate cake sponge. Now let's just do our vanilla cake sponge. Yeah, I was just gonna call it vanilla cake. All right. So what goes inside a vanilla cake? Um, vanilla cake sponge. And we have our vanilla icing. Vanilla frosting. Just like that. So just like that we have our vanilla cake. So now once we have our all our base ingredients, we can start putting our cake together. So we have cake sponge. So what's a so we have chocolate cake sponge followed by vanilla. Vanilla cake sponge. If we look inside our vanilla cake sponge, our vanilla cake sponge consists of sponges and vanilla. 
Oh, actually, that's kind of wrong. It should be called vanilla cake. All right, let's add our vanilla. Vanilla cake. If we look inside our vanilla cake, we have our vanilla cake, which is vanilla frosting and vanilla cake sponge. And if we go inside here, we have our sponges. And then our sponges. Um, <clears throat> all right, so while we're here in the sponge thing, we could we notice that we're missing some stuff. So while we're in here, we could have our butter. Um, our uh, baking powder. Is there a shortcut for this thing? Control Shift A. Oh wow! So if we go in here, Control Shift A. Oh, that's nice. Control Shift A, guys. And now you can start adding stuff to your uh, your notes trees here. So uh, what do we have? Butter, baking powder, oil. Bam, oil. Control Shift A. Let's add salt. Control Shift A. I know it's out of order. Control Shift A. And add some vanilla. Control Shift A. Sugar. Control Shift. We got A. Yeah. Okay, so now we just need egg, milk, and flour. Control Shift A or click that. Egg. Milk or mook and control shift A. Make sure you're highlighting the sponge control shift A and a flower. Floor. And just like that we have all our ingredients for our sponges. So what's great about it now is if we go back to our vanilla or cake, and let's we were in vanilla. Uh, so we go to our chocolate, we can go to our sponges, and there we go. It just changes all the sponges for all the other uh, notes we have in our main scene, our main cake scene. But if we full screen here, uh, let's, you know, let's add some more stuff to our cake. So we have cake, sponge. Actually, it's actually chocolate cake. It should be chocolate cake. Um... Yeah, made a mistake. Let's go back to our cake. Main cake. It actually it's not the cake's cut. We we got the wrong item right here, so that's okay. Not bad. So we could just select this, delete it, and we just put in our chocolate cake. Bam. Now we have vanilla cake and chocolate cake. And we could just copy paste it a couple times you know so we could have different layers so we have a one two three four five six six layer cake all right and maybe maybe you want to add something different like special on top one of some wedding some top let's just call it uh you know cake toppers cake toppers Ooh, everybody likes cake toppers. They don't they taste like plastic and garbage, but everybody likes those. Um Yeah, and inside of these we could just we could just add a note for this one. We don't we're never gonna like replicate these right here, so you could just add just a basic one time note that will only show up in cake like cake toppers. Plastic uh, dried groom pieces there we go because there's just going to be one-offs you just maybe you just want to have it like in here in this cake topper thing um i mean we could make it its own layer but yeah, i mean you're just going to have one instance of this so you know it, it's kind of like you know you get to choose when you want it or when you don't want it so i say we just have it in here just for examples uh, what else do we have? You know, um, all right, let's go back to our cake. What's at our topper?
bam. Yeah, sometimes I just like to have it on top, cake toppers. Um, you know what? Maybe on our vanilla cake, we just want some like some sprinkles. Sprinkles. So on our vanilla cake. Or even in a fro you know what maybe we want to have it on every second one right so yeah we don't want it on every layer you know you want to have one like well, we could have maybe one or two layers that have the sprinkle on it so let's just do that so we go to vanilla cake here uh yeah let's just add sprinkles sprinkles here and Yeah, I'll sat on the top, this layer of vanilla. And we can leave the last, like. Yeah, we can leave the last two uh, layers of vanilla, like, cake without. You know what? Nah, just leave it. Just the middle layer would have sprinkles. There we go. If we want to change it, we can totally change it after. So what else do people put on cakes? Uh, oh yeah, candles. Yeah, everybody likes candles on cakes. Uh, yeah, cake. We can call this cake decorator simulator. I mean, yeah, cake. Decorator simulator. There we go. Um, actually, wait. We'll just call this main still. What we'll do is we'll go to project name. Name of this game Cake Decorator Simulator. Oh, yeah. It's going to be right on Steam. So we got our cakes. So we can have multiple cakes here, but you know we're still working on our first one here. Uh, we have our toppers, vanilla cake, chocolate cake, vanilla cake. Oh yeah, we had our candles. So let's put some candles on uh, on only the chocolate cakes. So uh, I mean, we could have we could just add them manually here, or we could just do it once. So all the ca chocolate cakes will have it. We'll come here, add candles. There we go. So now every chocolate cake has candles on it. Actually, you know what? I don't like it like that. Let's go back here. Second thought, let's put it on. Oh, wrong one. Put it on the chocolate cake here. We could just copy it. And I mean, we could do all of this in GD script with code, but I feel like this is just a good way to start off, you know. Uh, what else do people like in cakes, you know, nowadays? Uh, um, oh, I know. I know something that everybody loves in cakes. Okay. So, um,. You know what I like in cakes, and most people like in cakes. Um, well, every I feel like every cake should have at least a stripper or two. Stripper or escort. Uh, let's see, escort. You know, the girl just like sits in the cake, and then eventually, like when the time's right, she pops out of the cake. You know, uh, topless. You know. Good old time. So, uh, we'll, we'll create that. You know, let's add a little script here because we haven't added any scripts. We can add a script to our stripper escort. And, uh, you know, we can have a uh, export video. Uh, export. Um, export Boolean. Uh, Uh, 
yeah, we'll have an export of Billium is is alive equals true. Yeah. So we'll have an export, you know, and uh, let's see what else we can do. Oh, we could add a little timer on her. Uh, let's add a timer. So. <laughs> uh, what should we call the timer? Life death. So in our life death timer, we can put like, you know, 90. Wait, is it in seconds? Yeah, it's in nine. Uh, so, uh, So this is where we pop out the uh, calculator here. So 90 times 60 seconds. So that's 5,400 minutes, uh, 5,400 seconds. So we could put in 5,400, 100. Auto starts, uh, one shot. And then we could just like create a function. Uh, ready. All right, so we could just start time. Oh, it just auto starts when we turn on the game. So I mean, we don't really need that. So we just need a time when it, we just need it to uh, do something when we time out. So if we go to our nodes here, hit our timeout. If you look very well, for those who haven't seen scripting, you will see the magic. So when the thing ends ends up at the you know fifty four hundred seconds, uh, which is ninety minutes. It's going to call this hamburger code here, this little function. So this is going to get activated like it's a trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh. So timeout. So if so basically what we're going to do is just going to go like this and then equal false. So yeah, there we go. So we have uh, we we have a stripper in here in this cake. She's still alive for ninety minutes. All right. So, um, now let's go back to her cake. And control A, shift A, stripper, escort, and we can just hide it somewhere in this middle of this cake. I mean, we could have more function to the stripper, like, oh yeah, pop out, funk, uh, pop out. Pop out of of cake. Now we could even just have a just a regular variable, regular boolean. Just pop goes the escort. Weasel Let's set it to false and then when we pop our caller function to pop her out of the cake equal true You know we can even stop the timer too while we're at it, you know Life and death timer dot stop Stop Eh, yeah Yep, here we go. Just remove this right here. And we're good. Save it. And there we go. We have ourselves a uh, a complete com Godot cake. With everything, all the fixings and all the strippers and candles and chocolate frostings and everything. So, you might be wondering, well, why are we doing it this way? Well, 
I mean, okay, so I use K because it's a, just an easier analogy. I want something that everybody can, like, fully understand and appreciate. But let's just say you're making something like a role-playing game or uh, uh, any kind of game out there, anyways. So let's just say you have, this could be your world map, right? Uh, inside your world map, you could have your different towns. And if we go inside our uh, towns here, let's just say we go into, you know, something like Noraclave or something like that. Like, I just made up that name. So, the town of Noraclave has, uh, you know, uh, a church, some shops, an inn, uh, some residents, uh, maybe a blacksmith. And, you know, if you go inside the one of those dwellings, say, let's say we go inside house three. So if we go inside house three, you can see that there's, uh, you know, probably an old man screaming at you, uh, a bed, some jars that you could probably break and get some money out of. And inside, maybe inside that jar, you could have some, like, also more than money. You could have money or items that could help you. And we could just keep on going down and down the rabbit hole here forever. Um... <clears throat> But, yeah, so, and then you could reuse a lot of those items, you know, like the, uh, like the vases and the bed. So, you maybe, you can have those beds inside different houses, or you can even have slightly other variations of that same bed. Um, but, yeah, it just makes life, it just makes organizing and putting your whole world together a lot more easier. Well, okay, that's it for me today. I'm starting to get hunger for cake here, guys. And, uh... I really want to try to make that, that spongy ass cake, you know, I definitely want to push my fingers through that cake just to feel the sponginess, you know, and the softness and its moistness, but you know, you guys do whatever you like, you know, go out there, make games guys. Bye. Bye.